G'day and welcome. I'm Morgan Z, and today we're going to talk again about Daughter Stop Dio. Why? Because they just released a couple of new updates. Well, sort of. They basically changed the whole thing. It looks beautiful, it's very functional. Tickle thing at the end because it's worth it. This is one of those services that is made for streamers by streamers or for creators by creators. Most of the features will be free, about 98%. They do have a paid tier. However, it's $3.99 a month, which is less than a Starbucks coffee. And it just mostly their quantities. So like if you have something that is limited in free, you have unlimited in pro and a couple of other neat features. Let's go have a look at everything and how to set it up. Let's do this. All right, so this is the main website. As you can see, it changed as well the main website. They did, as I said, almost change everything. Now, link in bio, it shows you a bit of what's going on. They have an affiliate program if you're keen for it. They got link shortening. Link shortening, I'm pretty sure you have uh, three or five for free. We have a look at the price comparison in a moment. Link shortening are very important because instead of giving a whole long links of 20 characters, you just put it on Doris and it will give you a link so it's much easier to, to remember or if you own a domain you can use a domain as well for example all of my links are wogglez.net slash s slash whatever i call it tech equipment so on and so forth they got a match customization they got a built-in blogging this is one of the main features of version 0 0.3 0 0.3 this is amazing. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. I mean, you can see what those profile looks like. This is what the blog looks like. They got a media kit. Obviously, you have more in depth numbers with the pro, but you still have a basic one with the free one. You have a Discord bot as well. Mostly, if you stream on Twitch, it will notify your Discord members that you're live. And once you go offline, it will change automatically the link to the VOD. That is smart. And then you can check a few other people out. This is very random. So it could be me, it could be you, it could be anyone. They keep going through. So pricing. As you see, you get basically everything. Just, you know, media kit, you only... Uh, you can only get three accounts connected, which is more than enough for most people anyway. Blogging, you get five posts, and you can get additional pages. I'll show you in a moment. This is very unique to Doris. You can have three pages to your link in bio, and then you only have read API, where you know with the pro you have read and write, which is coming still. Early access to new features with pro, and then you got unlimited everything, and you have also custom CSS support and custom domains. Obviously. Custom domains that have to be purchased separately, but you can connect it to your Doris when you have Pro. Now, when you go log in, you can just log in with your Twitch, and it, it will say, you know, in my case, what was that? Uh, YouTube, it's me, yes. Otherwise, it will ask you to log in with Twitch. And now we'll go in. Obviously, it's picking me up because I have an account. So just go next, next, next. And you get to the home page. Let's go. Now, this is what my link in bio looks like. Remember how we were talking about pages in the pricing? Well, most link in buyers, you have the one page. So, for example, it will be daughters.to slash z in my, in my case or wogglez.net because I have a custom domain. Uh, most linking buyers, you only have that page with 
Doris, you can put several pages. So my main page is this one, where I have my history, I have my my media kit, which by the way, media kit in most linking buyers is a paid feature. Here you have three accounts for free. Then you can have your, you know, your latest uh, videos. I'll I'll show you how to put it on. And then if you look at the bottom, there is a bar. It's in gray because that's my profile. But you see how it says gear. When you click on gear, it will give you a full new page. I have a page for merch, for example. With all my merch, I have another page for app and services. So with Pro, you can have unlimited those pages. With free, you can have only three, but it's honestly, most people will need more than one or two. Um, I use a couple of them to recommend services that I use uh, from Stream Graphics to Livebot services like Streambot, Mix It Up, Popular Free Music, and so on. And you can have your own tab for merch. Um, and I have one for the gear that I recommend, for example. But yeah, I want to say uh, mostly if you're just starting out, three are more than enough. So the free tire of Doris, it's more than enough. Now, when you want to go into, for example, let's go to my, um, my main page. I want to add something. You just go add block. And then here you have all the options. So you can just do a normal link. Actually, let me, let me make a new page. So you go into pages up top and then you go into pages. Let's call it to tutorial see how it pops up straight away with my custom domain otherwise yours will be daughters.to slash and then we call it tutorial and then you hit create it's gonna take a few seconds and there you go you have it here at the bottom you click on it and you open your brand new page which will be very, very similar to the other. So you have the, the same background and everything just to streamline everything. Um, obviously, if you go into theme, you can change, you know, your background. You can have different color for the heading text, block text, block background, accent. Then you can customize it with CSS. I have some custom CSS input in. Um, I'm happy to release them to you it i i'm probably just gonna put it in the video description if you're if you're keen you can change the fonts you have a couple of different fonts that you can choose from you can have shadows as well i mean it, you can't see very much because my background is like gray black so you can't really see but uh you can put the shadow uh you can change the block from filled and not filled you have round the corners then you have the colors, background, as I said, you can change it. Uh, and you can even do gradient background or solid as you wish. And now those are the blog posts. I know <laughs> well, at least I'm recording. I know the main, one of the main devs is actually working on it. So he's working on the blog post. That's what it's just popping up. It's usually not there. But anyway. Uh, this is how you change the main theme for all the pages. Now, if you do, if you're going to add block, you can just add a link, just drag and drop. This is how usually all my links look. Otherwise, you can click on here and change the background. You can change it on, I don't know, we want to put it towards, I don't know, uh, we want to change it to something like, I don't know, green. I'm going to put it green. There you go. Oh. It's going to take a couple of seconds to, um, to go. And then we go green again. Here is where you put in your link. So HTTPS. It takes a while to, um, um, to update.
right so this is how you create a link you can put your url like https and then https i can't even type <laughs> forward slash and you do wargoes.net for example and then instead of a link we want to call it i don't know main main website And you can even put an SFW warning. If you click on the question mark, it's gonna tell you, you know, it provides contents if this link host is mature and or NSFW content, it will prompt a warning to the user before they click on the link. Depending on the link provided, we may automatically add this warning, which cannot be removed. So this is something that I've never seen before. So if you have stuff that is 18 plus, you may want to put it on. We're going to toggle it off. You can put an icon. If you want to put an icon, you can put an icon. You can pick them from here. So you can even type it. So for example, folder. There you go. We've got a folder. Or for example, I know I uploaded, <laughs> I uploaded some... Um, um, some assets you can, if you know the name you just type the name and come up for example i have Shrebot, the link i'll show you how to upload um how to upload assets in a minute but yeah so this is the normal link then you have text copy so you can just copy string of text multi-link multi-link you can add links they will come up like this, exactly like, like I have in my main page. So you can put, for example, your YouTube, your Twitch, your Twitter, all at the top. So you don't have to use big blocks for your socials, for example. Then you have the email contact. So, and it's literally just drag and drop. And you can just put in your email. And boom, that's done. You can even put let's go email you don't have to but you can't so if you put in mail it will add the mail icon we add on the block the media kit so if you have your media kit set up in the settings which you're gonna go and have a look in a minute you can just turn them on like for example i have my uh, my twitter I got my Twitch and so on and so forth. And you can even toggle off show total followers. Otherwise, at the top, it will say your total followers if you want to do it. And if you don't, if you have a block and you can't see me again, <laughs> if you have a block, they do want to show. And later on, you figure out that you want to keep it there, but you don't want to show it. You just click on the eye and you'll still be seen in your editor, but on, on your website, on, on the link that you give out, on that link, these would not appear because we turn it off with the eye. Now, let's close this. Uh, we can add a normal image or an image carousel. Image carousel. It's basically, so just you can add auto scroll and just add images. So, for example, we go, I'm just picking a random coming soon. And you can set up if you want the auto scroll, you can set up how long between the pictures. Obviously, one second is too far because you know it's too fast, it doesn't look natural. But something like five seconds looks a bit more natural. Then you have a divider. Let's say, for example, like this, you have your pictures and then you have your email, but there is no space in between. You can add a divider. And you can even change the color for it. There you go. It goes purple. And the same thing for every, every block. Uh, for example, we've got a writing text block. I think 
soon. I think this is going to be discontinued soon because they have custom rich text that I'm going to show you in a minute. But let's say, you know, you, you put in whatever you want to type. And then you can go custom theme. Then you can change the text color to red, for example, or gold. See how it updates in real time? Then you can even change the background. You want it, I don't know, blue. In my case, it's going to only update the border because that's what I like, you know, only the border. If you had changed from border to fill, you will see that this block will be filled in blue like this one. Now, the rich text block, this is here to stay. This is exactly the same as this one, but it's got a lot more features. For example, if you do highlight something, you will see all the options. So you can change between checklist, number list, bullet list. It's basically whatever you can do in Microsoft Word, you can do it here almost. You can even make hyperlink if you want. Create a link, edit URL. You put the URL, and then when you click on here, it will redirect you to the link that you put in. You can do blogging. When it comes to blogging, you have to create a blog post first. It doesn't, it doesn't tell you, but <laughs> that's one thing that I have to bring up with the developers, by the way. Um, for example, I have some blog posts that I already made. So I can just select which one I want it to appear. And there you go. And you can even have as a single post or your latest post, which will come up automatically. Or you can have the full blog. And you can have, you know, I have three blog posts. It will pull them up and you can even change the name of the blog. So for example, uh, we say my uh, Wogo Z. Can't even type. Uh, Wogo Z blog. And here it pops up at the top again. How easy is this? Then we've got live streaming. This embeds your live stream. For example, this Twitch. You can give it a title if you want. And you just have to put in your um, your Twitch username. And then you can even say, see how I'm not live, obviously. So it's going to leave it like this. You can even hide it offline. Like I have in my main page. So it's going to check if you're live. If you're not live, it's going to completely remove from um, the link that you give out to people. So your, your website face, basically, is going to remove the live stream. But one as soon as it goes live, it will appear. And the same thing for YouTube. You have the same thing for YouTube. You just have to put in your handle. For example, what goes YouTube? And then you can hide it offline again. And then you even embed uh, a live stream from vrcbn.live, basically VR live stream. Not that I've ever used it, but I know of. And then you can even add a YouTube video. So if you know the link of a specific YouTube video, that's where you put it on. Or you can just add your latest YouTube video. You just have to put the channel ID. If you don't know what that is, you can click on here. And there you go. So this is my channel ID. And then you put it on here. And it's going to populate automatically. Give it a few seconds. In the meantime, you can even embed Spotify. You, had, you just have to add the URL. Then you can uh, put the Twitter or X feed. Just have to add at what goes at YouTube. Unfortunately, this is Elon Musk. So sometimes it will say nothing to see here. What way? What goes YouTube? 
Sometimes it does show like this, but it does update from time to time, depending from Twitter. And then you can even use Podbean if you have a podcast, or you can show your GitHub stops. You just have to put your username. I don't have GitHub, so um, this is how you manage your page. And you go to speaking of which, same thing with pages. In this case, I don't want to show the tutorial. You go navigation visibility. So I will see it here, but I won't see it. You know, the, the link they give to viewers. Now, analytics, it gives you okay, links shortening. As I was talking about it before, um, I have a custom domain, so it will come up as wogglesat.net. Yours will be um, daughters.click slash ask slash whatever you pick for example um i recommend some mics for live streaming so i have mic live then cameras my rig so on and so forth so instead of having this very long link i have this short one that is really easy to remember instead and how you do them you just click on new come up from the side you can put in test and then it goes to twitch.tv slash woggles YouTube. You gotta go https forward slash twitch.tv slash woggles at YouTube. Create. And now I have to go next. As you can see here, twitch.tv slash woggles at YouTube. Wogglesat.net slash s test. How cool it looks. Now, this is the blog post. I have several blog posts that I haven't I haven't done yet. Just to show you how it looks, we're just gonna create a new one. You put in the title and you can choose a different slug for it. Um I give you for example, um I was trying to do this. For example, number one, uh, but the system will not recognize the hashtag. So the dev uh, added the slug, which, you know, it, it's the actual link, but it removes all the characters that are not allowed by the system. So this is more of a screen name, and this is, you know, the name in the background. But at least when you go and show it off on your blog, it will show off the title, not the slug. Then you can put the status, published or draft. Put as draft, you can just save it and go back to it in another time. You can put your category. So I already have you know some categories, but you most likely have it empty. So just go new, and then you create the category. For example, test, then you save it. And it will auto populate. You can put in tags, for example. So we go at which, um, and then we go comma, comma. Then we go hashtag YouTube. Oop. Hashtag YouTube. YouTube. I can type. You go hashtag, and you do enter, and it saves them below here. You can put in, you have to put in a featured image, so you can just choose from the one that you have uploaded. So for example, I don't know, I wanna put this one. Then you have advanced option. This is very cool, actually. You can pick a date. So for example, you write a post to that, but the post, has to come out in two months time. So you put in the post two months time from now. Or let's say you made a video, but you haven't done the post, the blog post yet. So you type the blog post five, 10 days later, and then to make it coincide with the video, you date it like this five or 10 days prior 
So, you know, you have everything coincides. That was actually my suggestion, by the way. <laughs> Or you can delete the post and when you save it, of course, it's come out with the um, error because there is no content. So this is the same as the rich text block. So if you, if you select anything, you can just go basically exactly the same as Microsoft Word. And even add the link and then Go save. And then it creates your blog post. As you can see, it pops up here. Once you change it, so you can do edit. And then, for example, you change it to published. It's not enough to change it to published. Unless, of course, you know, your viewers have the link for the blog. In most cases, you have to, yes, put it live but also add it like I showed you before to your link in bio, select it, you know, single blog post and, um, and you select which one you want or the latest, or actually this will pop up automatically if you have the full blog block, that it, it, will, it will pop up. Otherwise, you won't see it. I'm gonna put a draft at the moment. So it doesn't show up anyway. Then you got assets. It's a bit of a pain, I have to say. So in the blogs feature, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can upload new assets, which they will go automatically here. When it comes to the blocks, it's something that the devs are working on. We have already requested it because honestly, it's a pain in the butt to come here, upload, and then go back to the um edit out for the link in bio. But otherwise, this is where you upload. You just have to click on upload. You put the picture and then we'll ask you for a name and it will let you upload it. Another thing that I want to show off is QR code. This is really cool. Not every link in bio has it and definitely not for free. So if you click on it, you can download your own custom because it has your pictures as my picture here. You can download it, and when they scan it, they're gonna go straight to your link in bio. This is so cool. Then you have a Twitch panel already made. You got a Streambot one. If you don't know what Streambot is, I have a video on my channel. I'm happy to link it as well um, in the cards up, up above. But the only thing that you have to do is import the string, and it will automatically, Timing, timer with timer is gonna add your socials in chat. Then they have a Discord bot. As I was mentioning before, that is it does live stream notification, bot support. It means that when the live stream finishes, um, the bot automatically will post the VOD uh, link um, instead of the live stream link. You can tag specific um, roles if you want to, and then you can have a custom message as well. Look, this is really good. I've used it for a long time, it's very reliable. What I tend to do instead is use Streambot. As soon as I press live, it sends a notification via Streambot. It's faster. Um, but this is a very good solution for new streamers. You have brand accounts. This is a feature that you have as well at the top of my head with the free version as well. I think up to three, I could be wrong. Here, you wouldn't have anything. I got Wogglesh Live. I was trying out new things. But anyway, if you go see all brands, you will have Wogglesh Live, and you can even create new ones. Now, if you go into settings, you have your profile setting. This is where you change everything that appears on the top of your link in bio. This is where you add your custom domain. And if you are pro, and obviously you're not an affiliate, this is where you can remove the Doris branding if you want to. Now, when it comes to your account, this is where you join all the platforms. Obviously, if you are a, if you have the free tire, you can only add up to three. Uh, if you are pro, you can add as many as you want. And then 
this is where the right API is going to be. This part is very dangerous. Do not touch it unless you know what you're doing because this can uh, reset and delete your account. So do not, do not. Then you have billing, obviously, support, and then which will be via Discord. Um, they are really, re or oh, you can create a ticket. Uh, my recommendation would be create a ticket and then hit them up on Discord. The developers are really friendly. Um, the server is becoming uh, more like a family than anything. That's one of the services that I hang out at. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm not a person that hangs out on servers, so it's a really good server. Uh, and they're very open, you know, and, and, and also the devs are very fast. This is one of the reasons why I fell in love with Doris, because it's a great service. Yes, even if you're a pro, as I was mentioning earlier, it's less than um, a Starbucks coffee. Let me go back to our big screen so you can actually see my face. Now, um, the reason why I fell in love with Doris are the devs. Very reactive, very friendly. Um, and they even do live stream where they show, you know, when they code Doris. The second thing is, yes, it's a great service, very, very great service. And some of the features that are paid, um, not just paid, but also much more expensive. Um, on Doris, they are most of the times free. Obviously not a limited, but free, at least, you know, um, they give you a taste. Um, and it's always evolving. Um, a couple of months ago, Doris didn't look anything like this. If you want to know how Doris looked a few months ago, just have a look at my other Doris video that I made. You will see it's almost night and day. Uh, they constantly add in features, they never stop. So do me a favor, give them some love. If you are a creator, this is hands down the best link in bio that you can find both premium and free. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like this video next or this video next, whichever side. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in one of those videos for roommates.